Alrighty, here we go. We got some blades ready to go into the kiln. We've um, given them a clean up with acetone. We're going to get this kiln fired up and we're going to coat these blades with uh, ATP 641 to stop the oxidization. So we've got three blades here, one, two and three of 12C27, Sandvik, and this one here is D2. So we'll arc it up and see how it goes. Tell me about this kiln. Okay, Bro? what we've got is a basic lab muffle furnace that I fixed up, got from the dump for $10. And we've fitted a much more modern temperature controller. Now this is one of those um, $15 cheapies from China. It's a uh, clone of a Rex C100 controller. Yep. And inside we've got a K-type thermocouple. And the thermocouple re obviously reads the temperature um, back to the controller to uh, keep it on a, at the set temperature point. So all we do is turn her on, wait for this to run the diagnostic, and at the moment you can see it's set for 180 degrees C, and it's at 100. Right. And the little quartz resistance elements are beginning to heat up. There we are, 1080. We're in the fires of Mount Doom. Dan, this one's for you, mate. Did you get in there? Yeah. Right, Dan, yeah, this one's yours, mate. Mark McCarthy, this one's for you, mate. Finally, at last. What are you fucking talking about? The master craftsman in his workshop. 1080, see? Oh, it's gone down 1079. 76, 75. Okay, here we go, here we go. Once more, onto the breach. Right. Mark McCarthy. This one's yours, bro. All
Okay, I'm stopping now. Yeah, mate.